Good morning, guys. It's been an interesting 24 hours. Um, I, well, for one, I need to take my meds, but I'm waiting nine minutes because I just had to remove my old sensor because it was just two days ago, it was giving me a bunch of false lows and it corrected itself. Yesterday was fine for the most part. And then this morning, it started doing it again. And then I got stuck in a calibration loop and I was just done. So it was only day five, but I removed it, called Dexcom, removed it. And I think the reason it wasn't working is because that's the one that freaked me out and bled a lot when I inserted it. And the wire was like red and well, the transmitter was like a bunch of blood. So I think dried blood, but still, I think, uh, I think it didn't work just because there was so much blood right everywhere. But anyway, so I removed it and uh, that experience scarred me a bit. So I'm a little bit scared to put on a new one, but um, as well as I switch sides every time. And so I can't sleep exactly how I like to, but it's not the end of the world. Um, but I have to wait 20 minutes between insertions so the transmitter doesn't get confused. So I'm waiting for that. But that is the least of my problems at the moment. I've been feeling very weird and I'm hoping it's just the weather and I'm not getting sick or something. Um, my throat's been going between hurting and feeling like there's just like this big glob of mucus back there. My ears feel, feel full. Um, my nose goes between running, runny and stuffy. Um, I've completely lost my appetite. And the most alarming thing to me is my breathing has been off. Um, it's a little bit better today, but I still feel a little bit out of breath when I'm talking or, or singing or something. Um, and I'm not going to go for a walk today. So yesterday, it kind of got worse throughout the day. Because yesterday, I felt it a little bit in the morning. But I took Yachty for a walk and was doing stuff around the house and I felt okay. And then by last night, just walking from here to the kitchen, which is right there, I got like super out of breath. Um, to the point where I like it took me a minute to recover from walking to the kitchen um, which is I don't know 15 feet it's super super close um, and then it got to the point where I was just I had to sit because I couldn't really every time I just stood up I started getting out of breath and during this whole period of time my o2 was fine um the lowest i saw it go was 95 which is lower than normal for me but it's not dangerous or anything so i knew i was fine my heart rate was completely normal um but i was just feeling really out of breath it was this feeling of like i had to use all my energy to take in a breath and i couldn't take a deep breath and like it was just tiring me out to breathe was kind of the feeling and then i went to go to bed and I couldn't breathe very well at all laying down. Um, I kept coughing and feeling really out of breath. And um, eventually I fell asleep and then I woke up this morning and I started coughing. And uh, so far it's been a dry cough, but I don't usually, this is just super, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm hoping it's the change in the weather, the cold weather affecting my lungs because it can, but I've never had to do it to that extent. Um, so I'm just hoping I'm not getting sick and I'm just going to kind of see how today goes. Um, cause like I said, I feel better. I felt better this morning, but then the other thing also is last night I was like wheezing and I could feel crackling every time I took a breath. Like if you're a CFR, you'll get it. If you're not, it's hard to explain, but it's this feeling of like, just like rough breathing of crackling and, and moving in the lungs of stuff moving. And so I know there's mucus in there, uh, it's just not coming up yet, but the yeah, albuterol helped the wheezing, that hasn't come back. Um, but it's just like, I don't know, post trichapta, this is super weird for me. And so I'm not sure what's going on, but today I'm just going to take it easy and not stress out my lungs too much and not stress too much because uh, because of what happened with the insertion with the Dexcom last time, I'm a little bit afraid to do it again, but... Um, yeah, see, like, I'm feeling out of breath just talking to you guys for four minutes. It's, it's really strange. But anyway, I'm going to wait for these now, what, like five, four minutes and 36 seconds. Insert the new sensor and then take my meds, drink a boost, and 
that's gonna be a late trichafta, but not the latest it's ever been. And if I take it by 110, I can still take it at 1130, it's fine. So anyway, with that, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you guys are feeling all right, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Well, that insertion went 10 million times better. No bleeding, and literally didn't even feel it. <clears throat> It's kind of ironic how the side I prefer it on always gives me more problems either with pain or blood than the side I don't prefer it on but it's there now and hopefully it'll last 10 days because I've only had like four sensors last 10 days since June so yeah but anyway um I uh, just finished with meds and stuff and um now I'm sitting here and I kind of want to work on the puzzle, but I kind of don't. I kind of, I'm just taking it super easy today and <clears throat> still coughing and yeah, so I'm just taking it easy. But I also did have to do a little bit of a thing this morning because my um, the heater for my fish tank doesn't work. And that hasn't been a problem because our house stays pretty warm and so the temperature of the water has stayed about 75 um so he's perfectly fine and the couple cold nights we've had dipped his water to 69 which he's acting normal but i was not comfortable with that temperature um so i took a hot i warmed a towel up in the dryer for an hour took the hot towel and kind of like wrapped it around the fish tank and now the temperature of the fish tank is going back up and we warm up tomorrow so I think it'll be all right but um kind of a little interesting morning with that regards as well but he's he's perfectly fine he's eating he's swimming around he's acting perfectly normal <clears throat> but I just didn't want to take a chance and I needed to warm that water up so it's working and it's going back up the things you do for the animals you love whether you, even if it's just a tiny little bit of fish I don't really want to walk, even if it's just down to that island. So I'm just sitting on the porch because um, it's 71 degrees and sunny. And so I want to enjoy it without further making whatever's going on worse. So um, that's where the porch comes in. And the problem with our porch is it gets hot very fast. Um, but couple of minutes of sunshine it's never a bad thing um, so that's what I'm gonna do get a couple minutes of sunshine well me and Bolt are both trying to warm up now uh, he's doing a fantastic job of it I have a low-grade fever so I don't know what to make of that I was hoping that it was just the weather but now that I have a low-grade fever, I don't think the weather would cause that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. My mom and my dad were both like, what if you have COVID? I, I really don't think it's COVID, but I don't think it's the flu because I have a flu shot. Maybe it's some kind of seasonal cold or something, which I'd prefer not to have. But I just don't feel good at all. I have no energy or motivation to do much of anything. I just feel bad and I thought well maybe it's blood sugar that's making me feel like this and so because I'm in the two-hour warm-up but no blood sugar's just fine so yay you know I had that really bad bronchitis like two months ago or something like that maybe three months ago and I prefer not to have a repeat of that that was miserable um, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on things, but I think I might be sick. So, party! Sure. I had a blood sugar 52 and lung pain to the list. Why not? We're having a party anyway. Hey guys, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Uh, my sugar's up, but my temperature is also going up, and I'm just really not feeling good. So, unless I feel better tomorrow, I'm probably not gonna pick up the camera tomorrow, because um, I just, 
I have no motivation to do anything fun. Like, uh, last night I was playing Nancy Drew for a while and doing the puzzle. I just, I don't even want to do any of that. So I'm just going to take it easy. And I do need to eat. Uh, my sugar is back up, so that's the plus. And the tank water is back up, so that's a plus. Um, I'll probably cover it tonight. But, um, I'm just, something's going on. Don't know what it is, but with that, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.